We'll keep our temperatures above normal as we head through the seven day forecast. We'll take a look at those in just a little bit. Thanks, Megan. Well, the start of summer is sometimes a confusing matter. Meteorologist intern Jalen Borison tries to clear the air. The signs of summer have been here. More boats and water sports appearing on lakes, kids starting their summer vacation from school, and more sunshine. The excitement grows for summer enthusiasts as the days get hotter and longer. Many consider Memorial Day to be the unofficial start to summer. But when is the first official day? Some may say June 1st, which is meteorological summer, while some may say the end of June when astronomical summer begins. Both are correct answers, but here's how they are different. The meteorological season changes every three months and is based on the temperature cycle. It has consistent start and end dates, which is helpful for recording and comparing seasonal and monthly statistics. For summer, it is the first of June through the last day of August, the three hottest months on average. The astronomical season takes a natural course determined by the Earth's tilt and the sun's alignment. You may have heard of the term summer solstice, which is the start of astronomical summer, and when one of the Earth's poles is tilted toward the sun at the most extreme angle. This creates the longest day of the year. This year, astronomical summer runs from June 20th until September 22nd. Whether you choose to celebrate summer by the sun or the thermometer, the essence of the season remains the same. For Kelloland Weather, I'm Jalen Borson. You like the summertime, Tom? I love summer because 